Hey there game makers and welcome back to another VFX tutorial and today we're gonna do and pimp up our splash screen which already looks pretty sweet but it's a little bit static and thinking like hey I would like to update it to a more modern thing because I guess you've seen that in tons of other games where it just looks sweet so splash art bus with some movement and so on and how we can actually do that with just a few cheap and quotation tricks with some animation curves. So what do I mean? Well, I actually mean this. So as you can see, a complete flashy upgrade where we just have first of all a movement of things going there and forth, creating kind of a pseudo 3D, which is basically our parallax. Then we're just adding some uh, well light sources and then let's the one background kind of blink here so it's kind of flashing and it is definitely an upgrade to the original image and then, well in concerns of action and so on so if you want to know how to do that in game maker with just a few lines of code because this is super cheap to do then stick around this is one up indie i am a developer so if you like what you're seeing and hearing then why not consider sharing, liking and subscribing to the channel, of course. Alrighty, so the idea was actually kind of, uh, well, from this thing, I just got a request like, hey, uh, pimping up a little bit in the background. And then as you can see, this is also uh, actually, actually a little bit better version of a splash art parallax effect, where you see that there is a movement there and forth so here just changing the position and a slight changing of the size at least i think it's a changing of the size i guess so yes so basically this is looking like a bullet time effect and as you can see um some cheap blinking of lights so uh, with just a few uh, tricks which are easy to copy you can actually well pimp up your splash screen also if you like alrighty so let's just jump right into it because it's actually kind of easy to do so uh, let's go into uh, explaining what's actually happening so the first thing which we're having is basically just one background it's just one background and here we do no animation basically this is just a static image then on top we do some lightning the lighting what we do well we just change all the time the alpha that's it super easy and then for example we add mobs too so here these dudes here not well cut out and therefore you see some fragments normally it should be a full thing and then uh but i didn't have so <laughs> i'm playing with what i have and then what we do is just doing this. So enlarging the image X and Y. Okay, so basically making the bigger and smaller. And then we do the same thing for the hero has. But here her movement is a little bit bigger. Ah, not doing that right. Um, her movement is a little bit bigger because she's more on the front. And therefore her image X scale expansion and forth is a little bit bigger than from the mobs on the background because then you kind of create this pseudo 3d effect which is kind of tr trying to create uh well this 3d effect and this is basically it. this is the whole spiel which we're going to do here and then for good measures we're just adding some lights which we're going to do some flickering once again everything with animation curves easy peasy stuff but if you are unsure how animation curves work no problem got a video on that but here i'm just gonna dash through them because the code is extremely similar for my advanced users i don't want to bore you with that stuff so how does that look like so first of all let's go for example for our, our hero and then prepare our first animation curve so here trash this dude come on create a new one then here and then well let's go with 0 0.5 and here we want to change just slightly because the image is quite big 0.5 as you can see well this would be then a linear movement yeah, not so cool so what do we do well we upgrade it to from fast to slow and therefore this movement is pretty cool for let's say the lightning we're using bouncing 
so it has kind of a chaotic element in there but here for going there and forth this fast to slow is actually pretty optimal for that of course if you like other ones hey you can do that with a linear one but here it just feels right and the same we do for the mobs and therefore let's deactivate what we don't need so the lights and the blitz so basically we got our background our hero and our mobs basically three layers the background of course is not moving and then this is the effect of course here once again cutting out and not looking too, too good but hey what can we do and then this already is upgrading uh, the whole thing of course this is a little bit too much for the whole thing because the image is so, so big so here once again do some fine tuning but of course it looks like a breathing thing like then going there and forth and of course then you can change how fast you want to do that but of course the movement should be slow and rhythmic so this is looking pretty cool so how do we do that well kind of easy let's go to our hero so hero is then uh, this thing here so our chick and then um, we just need a create event and a step event where we just apply new positions from our animation curve which we set up so first of all we uh, just uh, save our animation curve which we're using so for example here the hero and then the mob has the animation curve for the mob and then the blitz has for the blitz so everybody has its own so you can do fine tuning in the animation curves and don't need to touch the code once it's in there then the percentage value this is a value which we are looping and once it's reaching one we just set it to zero so we get an infinite loop therefore we're just going through all the values to the end of the animation curve and then starting at the beginning and then the end so we are looping and then of course because the time frame for one let's say full loop should be longer for the hero and the mobs so therefore i don't know i would say 600 which is then 10 seconds okay of course here you can go wherever you like and then of course we need to grab the pointer or the value which we're having so the value between zero and whatever the max value is inside our uh, animation curve and then here curve and then here percent because we want to get the value back and then we just add it to our end and set it to the x and y scale let's say of our mob or our hero as you can see here a hero and then just adding to that and then we got a motion this is pretty much what we do nothing else so let's start this thing and as you can see pretty cool and then we just apply it to the mob also but the mob has a little bit smaller value what what it can have as a, a as a max value for the animation curve so this is the whole change here because it's a little bit more further away and therefore let's go for example for the hero max value is here um, uh, 0.39 something something and then for the mob it's 0.02 and as you can see definitely smaller but of course then it creates this kind of pseudo 3d effect all right so this is how we create the first step then let's go and create some more bling bling which is our blitz as you can see it's overlaying quite a lot but what do we do well once again animation curve but here for our blitz and then step here we have a smaller time frame so plus equals 130 so this is half a second and then we finished a full loop in half a second so we can do some flashing and then we just uh, have an alpha value of one and then minus the position so this is the value from the animation curve and here a little bit of a change so here uh -huh, we are using actually not the fast to slow but the bounce because the this is looking a little bit more chaotic and more natural so therefore we do that and then the maximum value is then 0 0.8 then for example once we start it basically as you can see the same code and then wow pretty cool stuff overall and then we got some blinking going on which is definitely looking cool of course the position not always too correct so here you can if you want um, well 
change a little bit the position of the flashes so adjusting them but hey uh, this is good enough for us and then for the last bling bling part we got some light things so this is just a light sphere nothing too fancy so this is just well <laughs> a gradient uh, a radial one nothing going on here and what do we do basically the same thing we just have a, sh a smaller time frame set it to our animation curve of the light here once again we use the bouncing like in the blitz so this is very similar and then we just add small values to the image and x and y scale then change the alpha and then for good measures if you like the aqua let's go with green yellow let's go with a yellow let's start it then we are pretty much finished with all what we wanted to have as you can see um not too optimal so here you need to have some correction because if you want to have the tip in this kind of pseudo light source then maybe you uh, well need to correct the position also and as you can see oh yeah you can see a little bit the uh, edges the square edges which doesn't look good so here get better images than me this is the whole magic nothing too fancy basically using and abusing the animation curve to tween between values uh, bouncing for the light sources and for the blitz or for the flash here and for the well the background and the f more or less the foreground of layers then just going forward and back with a slower um, there and forth movement this is basically it so pretty easy and cool stuff to do in game make and of course in other ones it's basically the same so you just tween between values and then separate your sprites into layers and then create this kind of cool effect but of course uh, the whole code is in the description below images of course i cannot share because they are not mine they are from valerian the pagan priestess but of course looking pretty sweet and that was pretty much it hopefully you enjoyed this and now you can pimp up your splash screen with this more or less parallax effect in game maker and of course all the other engines also have a good one one up indie